it's the last day of Adobe Max and as you can tell I'm heading off to it from the hotel and um, today I have a session the second of my two and there are I think over triple the amount of people scheduled for this session than the last one anyways regardless not as to whether that's true I'm unfortunately probably going to miss about half of the sessions that I scheduled to attend um, just because I really want to just take the time separate to those to sort of refine my session uh, I'm nearly there you know but it's just especially if it's going to be a full house I want to make sure that you know I get it as good as possible I mean to be honest I'd, I'd do the same even if it was a very small audience but yeah oh my god that morning sun in San Diego is very bright the cool thing is though oh my god that's bright <laughs> The cool thing is that uh, Adobe provide like a speaker's preparation room, uh, which I've had a sneak peek at, and they provide, you know, food and coffee to have a break and gather yourself, but also tables and a quiet space to prepare and, and go through talks and stuff, and they have Wi-Fi. So that's great, because there's some other work I need to finish off and catch up on too. So yeah, I'm just gonna basically go to the convention center and knuckle down on a whole bunch of work, and then, uh, then head off to my talk. Now I am heading up the giant convention center escalator. This thing is huge. It goes up like three stories. Anyways, and I'm off to my Photoshop class, which I'm actually really excited about. It just comes down to, I think, being prepared and, and ready to jump into it. But once I'm at that stage, I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So I just got asked if I want to let people in because I was informed that I have a line going around the corner. So I'm curious how this looks when they come in. I forgot to vlog at the end of the session. Was that okay? Yeah. It was good, yeah, thumbs up. Welcome to YouTube! <laughs> so seeing as I don't have too many fancy things happening today, I thought I'd take the opportunity as it's the last day of Max to show you the community pavilion. I actually haven't shown you guys many of the booths, uh, so I thought this would be a good opportunity. The community pavilion is where loads of the uh, sponsors who are here at Max have their products and services sort of on display and it's a really interesting sort of thing because at things like Comic Con and things like that it's often just selling or displaying whereas here it's all very tactile like very often you'll pass booths and you'll see people creating and there are like drawing areas and lounging areas and loads of really fun things there's like screen printing over here and uh, it's all really interactive and fun this is the Nvidia booth and they're demoing on Cintiq's the uh, the wet paint demo that was shown last night at the sneaks preview which is sort of like I mean it presents something like Photoshop but it's really about this 3d painting naturalistic experience and the coolest thing is it's actually 3d and they've 3d printed paintings from things painted in that program look at that that is amazing were you at sneaks last night I was yeah this was pretty impressive eh? yeah so this is that 3D brush thing that they demoed. And it looks Wet pretty paint. cool. Wet paint. Yeah, that's right. See, that looks really cool. Does it have a sort of palette system? I don't know. Because that would be sweet. There's lights here. I just started using it just now. Yeah. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> it's really simple to use. It's awesome. So this, it turns out, is a really long line for a vending machine that depending on where you are on the line randomly gives you something ranging from something really small and cheap like a lens cleaner to something more expensive like a camera or an Apple watch. So I guess there's a lot of people interested in lucking into something super cool and expensive and random. This is the live booth. Some of you might have tuned in two days ago when I did a fun live stream doing some animation with Michael and uh, they're doing some photography with Helena Price right now. And then over here, 
there's this body scanner that people are standing in and then 3D printing a model of themselves. This is a pretty straightforward GoPro booth, sort of demoing uh, their cameras. But then behind here is probably, to be honest, my favorite booth, which was the first thing I tried, which is this virtual reality experience. There's a bit more of a line now, but uh, I got to try it when there was like only one person in line. So I got to take my time and enjoy it. And it was incredible. But anyways, I talked about that in uh, a video two days ago, so I won't go into that again. Around here is the make it on mobile section where people get to sit around and use the oh, Adobe yeah. mobile apps but there's an instructor and it's sort of like a mix between a tutorial and sort of a, uh, you know, interactive educational session. This is uh, my second favorite booth and it's virtual reality again, but this time it's a HP booth where using their uh, workstations, they let people use uh, a HTC Vive and this is where I use Tilt Brush for the very first time and I'm sure that a lot of people are using Tilt Brush for the very first time and it's just this overwhelmingly, awesomely received experience. People are just... Yeah, well, you don't loving how it feels and I can't yeah, wait to get know. home and really sink my teeth into my vibe. This area here with the massive banners is the creative cloud section where people are using different mobile and desktop apps and as you can see there's like there's uh, computers and tablets everywhere just for people to use and play with and not all digital there's a lot of traditional stuff too it's really cool because people can just come in this massive section and just play with art and software and programs you know Some Microsoft Surface booth over there, some uh, random other booths, design booths, business cards, branding, skateboards. It's really diverse. There's lots of different stuff and it's all really fun to look at. They have the bubble chair section over here and the hammock chair or hammock bed section at the back there. <laughs> I think this is people taking naps. There's a Wacom booth over there and then over here we have a drone cage. So every now and then you'll walk by and people will be test flying camera drones. And just like that, that's the end of Max. We're done. I did my final presentation and the community pavilions closed and people are heading home which is weird. <laughs> it sort of felt like it would just go on forever because it was super cool. I'm, I'm like conflicted in two ways, right? Because I have this massive high because I'm going to see Mrs. Jazza and Baby Jazza soon, but also a sort of a low because I miss him. Then a high because I'm here at Adobe Max because it's amazing. And then a low because it's over. So it's sort of like this mix of stuff. I'm flying out tomorrow, so between now and then, I have two things I wanna get done today. I'm gonna to go have sushi for dinner, and I'm gonna go edit Monday's video. So I don't have to work on Monday when I get home, and I can just crash and relax and hang out with the fan. Oh my God, not only is this sushi amazing, but it's happy hour, so the beer was $4, and these sushi trays are only $5 each. I am in heaven. <laughs> I think that has to be one of my favorite sushi places I've been to. <laughs> the whole meal came to $30, and I had two beers, three plates of sushi, and two uh, pieces of nigiri, and yeah, I'm full and happy. <laughs> I just had one of the most terrifying experiences I have ever had. Oh my God, I am still trying to recover from it. I was sitting here editing at my companion, just working on the video and almost falling asleep, like super tired. 
And then I was like, what time is my flight tomorrow? I should probably check. And I get out my itinerary and I check. I'm like, okay, you know, so-and-so on the 5th. And then I check. And then I see the date on the Cintiq says the 5th. And the date on my watch says the 5th. And it's 8 p.m. And I was like, you're kidding me. I've missed my flight back to Australia. And I was freaking out. And I thought, did I have the wrong itinerary? The, uh, the hotel has me booked to leave tomorrow. So, like, was there a mistake on, like, Adobe's part booking it an extra night or something? I can't even tell you. Like, I was freaking out. I, I rang Mrs. Jazza and I was like, I missed my flight home. <laughs> she was like, what? <sighs> no. My my tablet and my watch are set to Australia time. My watch, I changed, but the, the date is set to the Australian date. It's the 5th in Australia. It's the 4th here now. I'm leaving tomorrow evening. Oh, my God. All right, well, at least I'm awake again. <laughs> I'm going to go back to editing. That shot adrenaline through my whole body. Jeez. <laughs> and on that note... I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog for the day. Thanks for watching. I'm going to have a nice relaxing evening. See you tomorrow.